guys welcome back and welcome if this is your first time joining us thank you so much i really appreciate your presence if this is your first time watching or you've been watching but you've not subscribed kindly consider subscribing like the video turn the notification bell on of course so that you can be notified every time i upload a video and most importantly share your thoughts in the comment section let me know what you think just feel free in the comment section and of course we'll interact as we always do and for my people thank you so much for always supporting your girl i really appreciate your support and i love you like so 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 much i love you so much because hey, as i always mention the things that you do is priceless and i really appreciate that i'm so humbled and i if i don't appreciate you enough in the comment section always know that i'm so grateful and i really appreciate each and everything that you do on this channel because of course as i always say without you there is no channel so thank you so much so we'll be talking about so many things today <laughs> of course you know ivan came out yesterday and before that mama Anne's family had uploaded a video <laughs> guess what baba Anne was uh, present to clarify some of the lies by the one and only Senso. So Baba Ann was uh, present yesterday and uh, he had to come out here and clarify some of the lies. But of course you know who, Marwa. Of course you remember there was a time that he came out here to tell the public, to tell the world that um, Baba Ann <laughs> attempted to commit. And of course he was there yesterday on uh, one of his daughter's video. And of course he said a lot. Which of course he mentioned that uh, every single thing that uh, Marwa came out here to, to allege in public was pure lies. Can you imagine coming out here to, to mention all those lies of that magnitude? Because of course, hey, to come out here and uh, mention such things about a father who, are, who has kids. Imagine who has kids in school. I don't know if you understand that, but of course you do. It can lead to bullying. I really didn't like that about him. So, of course, he had a lot to say. Of course, we'll get into that. On Ivan's side, he also had a lot to say. Because he vowed to come out here and debunk the lies by Marwa. Because at this point, I think he is a pathological liar. Because why is everyone coming out to claim that uh, everything that he mentions, every allegation that he has mentioned, is lies? And of course we believe these people because they come with receipts. <laughs> of course you know them, they don't play, they come with receipts. So, what will be your conclusion? Let's watch and then we'll come back. Are you ready for this video? Because I am. <laughs> Let's start. Mama Anne's family. And of course before we continue, let's watch the video, then we'll come back my mom mom yeah um, have you ever ah. taken my dad money ah. um, why have you ever stole my mom money um, why you buy pesa za baba? no okay <coughs> dad have you ever have you ever tried to commit suicide because my mom has stolen your money no Okay, thank you, Dad. I just want to clarify that one. Yeah, to know because I heard that you, you, you commit suicide and you were taken to the hospital. So I was like, you commit suicide, you are taken to the hospital without even your child, your children know knowing. Be yeah, because you know I was like, surely my dad can just do something like this and then they hide. Even I myself, his children, even my my sister, all and all my brothers, even those who are staying with them, they don't know. So I just wait and I didn't tell you by the way this thing. Yeah, I just wanted you to come and just ask you whether there is any day that you just try to commit suicide because my mom stole your mom. No day. You have ever try something like that okay thank you so much ma mom and did, did my my mom try to stall your money any day no 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 thank you so much dad thank you so much for that that is the only thing that i wanted to hear from you yeah and also mom thank you so much yeah i wanted to hear that from you yeah so dad thank you so much 
Thank you so much, my lovely family. I really love you so much, my parents. Yeah, and I know right now there is a, a love be, between you. Yeah, I see there is. By the way, guys, you know, even the, to the look of things, you can just see right now. Yeah, you can just see right now. It is not the same as it was. Yeah, by the way, you know, I have also, I promise you that I will work hard to just bring my parents together. Yeah, so that they can be together. And I'm really happy right now they are together. Yeah, so that... Thank you so much for clarifying that. Yeah, your child, you are ready here, Agi. I was really wondering. My dad tried to commit suicide when? And what happened? Yeah, so thank you so much for saying that you, even you yourself, you don't know that. You don't know that. You are just hearing from me right now. Thank you so much, Dad. Thank you so yes, much, Mom. I'm wondering. I'm wondering. You are wondering? Yes, I'm wondering. Oh, don't worry. Don't worry about that. Uh, I just want to ask you. Yeah, don't worry about that, Dad. Don't worry about that. Yeah, so, my good people, that is how things is. Thank you so much for watching. If I was Marwa at this point, I would be embarrassed, like embarrassed, because when someone comes out here, <laughs> in Swahili we say musika, like the person who is involved, the person in question, when he comes out here to say that what you said is lies, you're lying, and the same is being mentioned by the kids, the wife, of course, that, that, that is 90% lies. You can easily say that a censor was lying, pure lies. But now, this is something that uh, I could not stop thinking. You know, I was just thinking, how do they feel? Because, of course, it's so sad. It's really sad for you to have to sit down your parents and ask them if they had ever committed. Can you imagine? You're this person's child, and you have to come out here and sit him down, the parents, in public, and ask if all these allegations by uh, Marwa is true. And, of course, that is the only option they had, because, of course, it was made public. It's so sad. And uh, I think uh, Marwa should be very embarrassed, like seriously embarrassed of his actions because you don't do that, honestly. There are some limits to all this thing. <laughs> there are some limits of all these fights because for him to mention someone like Baba Ann, which part, which part did he play? Which part did uh, Baba Ann play in all these hackers? Which he was not there during the fencing, we've never seen. Of which, of course, we are not in Yabohanze, we are not there. But of course, we've never seen anywhere this guy come out here and get into it with the Marwa or the family. We've never seen. So what would make Marwa to come out here and make such allegations, honestly? Even assuming that it's true. Assume. Make an assumption that it's true. Why come out here and share with the public, honestly? Could it be relating to any other member of the family? It could be wrong. But of course we could come out here and say, okay, we saw them here and there on the videos, although they didn't mention anything negative about Marwa. But for him to pick someone like Baba Ann, whom we hardly see on these streets, it was so wrong, very wrong on all levels. And I think this is something so common about Marwa because we have the likes of uh, Mogesi. He came, he came out here and mentioned that uh, Marwa, was, uh, Marwa involved the parents. In all these circus that was going on. Of course, you remember Bogesi came out here and claimed that uh, Marwa didn't pay him for the two, two or three months that he was working for free. And they had an agreement that he was supposed to be paid. Marwa didn't pay Mogesi. But now, when Mogesi came out here to defend himself after the Marwa's rant, can you imagine that Senso went and included, involved Mogesi's parents? For what reason? The parents are not there. Mogesi, I assume, is above 18 years. Why are you dragging his parents? For what reason? So at this point, I'm so convinced that uh, that is Marwa's thing. He's so used to all these dragging innocent people in these uh, social media fuzz, <laughs> in these uh, craziness that is going on in the internet, honestly, because why? <laughs> what do you want to tell Mogesi's parents? This person is an adult. Mogesi, for this instance, deal with him, deal with him, why are you going to involve the parents? And of course you would agree with me, assuming you were in that position. <laughs> I will not want anyone to involve 
any any person that knows me deal with me you know and i know you'll agree with me on that it's so disrespectful both to mogesi and the parents because you're dealing with the wrong people how would he feel when someone picks a fight with him and they go ahead and drag congrats mom left right and center how would he feel of course not good but he feels that he's on top of the world He's the king of Nyabuanze for him to have that right to drag innocent people. And in that case, parents. And in that case, older people. Older people, it's not right. And of course it doesn't end there because we have Ivan. We'll get into that. He was also looking for Ivan's parents' contacts. Can you believe it? What is wrong with Marwa? <laughs> what is wrong with him? What do you want to tell these people? Can you imagine you're dealing with Ivan? He's in the U.S. I don't know where the parents are. Are they in Cameroon? Are they in the U.S.? But now, this is my point. You're dealing with someone in the U.S., in Washington, D.C., but you're looking for the, his parents' content, contacts, who may be in a different continent or even the same state, but how are they related to this drama that is going on between them? And I think this is the reason why he does this. He drags these people for the sole reason, one reason, to intimidate the parents and of course to intimidate the person in question because of course you know when someone involves your parents <laughs> of course you'll go crazy it could be to provoke you for you to do something dumb or something wrong you know something that can get you in trouble because of course we always know you don't touch someone's parents especially in this case where they are not in youtube why drag the parents for what reason in conclusion that was not right that was not right and of course it was so interesting and i could not, and i was supporting the daughter because it, she was like i'm the child i didn't hear anything about committing and someone is on the internet with over three thousand people watching claiming that the dad tried to commit or even committed yeah that is what he said he was rushed to the hospital can you imagine Marwa should stop it honestly. It's not right. And I think it's because that uh, he comes out here with lies. And uh, when people come out here to defend themselves, he has nothing to say. Because when you're caught in a lie, what can you say? How can he defend himself when he knows it's lies? Of course, he has to start these side shows. Involve the parents, come out here on the internet, tell people to unsubscribe, this and that. That is the only way that Marwa has come out here to defend himself with all this drama that he started by himself. So, I think at this point he just needs to stop. And there's uh, something that I watched on uh, Ivan's video, which we will get into it. I could not stop laughing when he mentioned that uh, he has to keep the receipts because when it's that time of the month with Marwa, <laughs> when it's that time of the month with Marwa, he will come out here and run his mouth on the internet. So, you better have your receipts intact. So, of course, it was just a funny moment. I think we are done with uh, Mama Anne and the family. Let's move to Ivan's video. Because he came out here yesterday, I think it was uh, part four or part three, I'm not so sure. But, <laughs> but he came out here on a video. Of course, I think at this point he has decided that he's going. <laughs> one by one, everything that Marwa mentioned is coming out here to tell the world. How Marwa is a pathological liar. And of course we are out here. Let's sit back and watch it unfold. And of course I'll be bringing it out here. <laughs> we talk about it because Marwa decided to make us busy. And we are doing exactly that. Because he's the boss. <laughs> that is what um, Joyce's diary said. He's the boss. And we are here because of his invitation. Because when you come out here and run your mouth. Talking about everyone that you can think of. What are you doing? You're telling us. You're informing us that uh, it's a busy month. It's the end of the financial year. Of course, if you're in the finance field, you'll understand. It's the end of the financial year. It's time to to work extra hard because hey, Senso is giving us content. <laughs> content for days. So let's get into Ivan's video because it's going down. <laughs> he mentioned a lot of things which are, it's so laughable, it's so interesting just to watch proof a liar Marwa. So we we'll start off with this video about the girl, I think uh, Heidi or Lost Heidi, that is the name. You remember Marwa came out here <laughs> to claim that uh, Ivan is so known for stealing his women. And of course, <laughs> when he was saying that, I was like, how many women do you have? 
what do you mean by what so but of course we know he's a polygamous man and uh, let's watch let's get to know who is the one stealing someone else woman women girlfriend just women <laughs> so let's watch then we come back but when we talk about lost Heidi guys and you guys are accusing me of stealing his girls one thing he doesn't want you to know is that he's the one actually stealing girls all right so lost Heidi something that you guys have never heard before from anyone is that she was actually dating Mawa's friend by the name of Kevin see when Mawa moved to Colombia he was friend with this guy named Kevin Kevin took him under his wings. Oh, yo, what's up? What's up? What's up? So, my name is Kevin. Today, I took over uh, Mara's blog. Kevin showed him the ropes, right? Kevin was dating Lost Heidi. They had some problems, and Mawa ends up meeting her. And you guys know what happened next because it's all on the internet. <laughs> So I've actually reached out to Heidi and I asked her to write a statement and explaining what happened so you guys understand. Unfortunately, she's going through a lot and she does not want the negative attention. You can actually see right here what she said. She was not comfortable writing because of, she knows, the, the Mawa soldiers, the blind sheep, will come at her and attack her for different things. So given what she has going on in her life, she chooses not to be involved in any further drama with the clown so he's accusing me but guys that's against the bro code if i'm your friend and you break up with a girl should i go after her no if you're seeing a girl and you guys having an argument should i go after her no even if you were married with a woman and we are friends should i date your ex-wife absolutely not and i think most of you guys watching will agree with that well have your friend mawa explain why he was dating Kevin's girlfriend. Asked him. So what happened with all of this? He called me the first night that he ended up at uh, Heidi's home. She went to work and he called me. He was so excited, telling me, oh, she's a lawyer and, you know, she's a professional. She's this and she's all that. He was so happy and I was happy for him. Then he tells me the only problem is that, you know, you know, she's, she's dating Kevin, you know, but he wasn't really sure what was the status. And I said, Mawa, since you seem to take her seriously, do yourself a favor. I think you need to tell Kevin what's going on. Hey, Kevin, if you're watching this, I'm sure you've seen the videos with your either ex-girlfriend or girlfriend at the time. Mawa actually never told Kevin. Kevin found this out on the internet, watching YouTube, that here he goes, Mawa, the guy that he helped his friend with his girl. You guys want to talk about stealing girlfriends? Have Mawa explain that one. I told him many times to let Kevin know, and he didn't. I have him explain. Interesting. At this point, I'm convinced that um, Marwa suffers from uh, inferiority complex because uh, if you just follow Ivan's videos, you know, when he's coming out here after the drama, all these videos, I think the past three videos that he has made, you can notice, you can notice that uh, Marwa suffers from inferiority complex because we talked about it. I think uh, if you've been watching, you'll understand. There was a time that uh, he was he hooked up with this girl. He made a tape, yeah, and he sent it to Ivan. At that point, you're like, because of course we know. I doubt, I doubt this woman <laughs> consented to the act of filming and sending it to other men. Of course, no one would accept that. At the same time, you'll notice that every time every time that uh, he talks with a woman or uh, they are dating, not even dating, they're still talking. But of course, with Marwa, that is dating or even marrying any time. And of course, when I say women, it's all about not even white, anyone with a skin different from his. He considers uh, that person as a girlfriend, my girl. So every time he will have these people, he will send the chats to Ivan or any other friend that he has. So you're like, what is up with you? Who would like that uh, every time you're talking with this person, he's sending those conversations to someone else? And so many, many things that, uh, you'll, that you'll notice if you watch Ivan's videos. You'll notice it gets crazy anytime that uh, he gets a lady. He, get, he goes crazy. He goes bananas. Because I think that... Uh, he doesn't believe that, uh, is this me? Is this me? I'm getting to talk with this kind of a woman. 
with this kind of a lady. So it's just, um, it's crazy. It's nasty because some privacy, honestly, some privacy. Of, of course, we know that uh, Marwa deals with everything on the internet, everything and anything. You will bring it on the internet. Hmm? Anything you can think of. And that is why people have always mentioned this to Rocio, that be very careful because we'll be out here to witness Marwa call you a parasite, this and that. Of course, if they fall apart, but of course we wish them a long relationship. So that is it about the Heidi. Of course, as you can see, it's Marwa himself that stole the stole because I don't even understand this term about stealing because the girl knew that he was dating this Kevin and she willingly left and uh, started dealing with Marwa. So at that point, I'm like, it's the girl cheating or whatever. However you want to, to put it across, as, as I even just shared with receipts, it's this girl Heidi, lost Heidi, was dating Kevin. Marwa got the girl from Kevin and Marwa came to the internet and told people that Ivan stole her. Ivan stole Heidi from me. What a circus. I'm even, I'm even busy from, <laughs> from narrating this because it's crazy. What nonsense is this? You get from this one, you take it, this one takes from you, allegedly, which is not the case because we've heard from Ivan and he has mentioned that that is not the case. But of course I'm still, I'm still surprised by the audacity, by the nerve, by Marwa to come out here with a straight face and lie to a thousand and thousands fans. I think he's used to getting away with anything and everything that he comes out here to mention and that is why he doesn't hesitate. He doesn't hesitate on uh, dragging someone for no reason. So I hope, uh, <laughs> I hope he learns from this that uh, you don't get away from anyone and everyone. There are some people who will come out here <laughs> and drag you for days because that is what is happening with Ivan. He's out here, part one, part two, and he's still going on. And of course, we are here for it because I think it's about time for someone to be called out because we've seen we've seen a lot of people that he has come out here to destroy with lies with intimidation with meanness someone comes out here puts out content for months years and he just comes out here and tells people to unsubscribe and that is it for you Ivan shared that about him because the first time that Marwa came out here to drag Ivan Ivan didn't come out here that much to defend himself and he mentions that uh, the first time that he woke up after Marwa's time, that time of the month, Marwa was on that date of the month, <laughs> date of the month, he came out here, ran his mouth, <laughs> as he always does. And um, Ivan mentions that he lost, he was losing thousands and thousands of subscribers. And of course, I agree with him because at some point it's better having two than a million that will keep switching anytime, every time. It's good to have those people who stick, who sticks by you, no matter what. But of course, logically, if you feel that someone is wrong, you let them know. If they don't change, it's up to them. But of course, the reason that Ivan gave for the breakup between Senso and ID, something that you always know because of polygamy, because as I shared, Marwa came out here. Marwa told the lady that uh, I'm polygamous. So when you see me with another lady the next day, just understand, it's me and polygamous. And I think, I think uh, Marwa doesn't get this thing about polygamy. I don't know, but um, it's so interesting. I think that is just being a, oh, <laughs> it's being ratchet. You cannot sleep with a million women and you call that polygamy. That is something else because it's not like you're dating these women. It's not. Because uh, I'm, I'm referencing to Muslim culture, you know. Because they accept polygamy and of course other communities. I'm just using uh, Muslims in this case. That is not polygamy. That is not it. I assume that polygamy is when you marry <laughs> several women, you know, or something. But it has some rules or structure. You don't wake up, sleep with this one the next minute. In a day you're sleeping with 20 women and you come out here and tell people that uh, that is polygamy. I don't know. And I don't agree with it. So let's move to something else. You remember Marwa came out here to talk about the cousin. Hmm? He mentions, because the time that he went to Ivan's house, he found this man from Cameroon who happens to be Ivan's cousin. And he went, <laughs> and uh, he came on the internet 
talked a lot of things about this cousin, alleging that um, Ivan is uh, treating him like he's not a human, he's not allowed to go out, he's not allowed to work, this and that. Ivan had this to say about that. Let's watch, then we come back. Figure it out. So let's talk about my cousin for a second. With his cousin, who is from Cameroon. Who was from Cameroon? Who I still feel a lot of pity for, you know? A lot of pity for. Because that guy does not speak English. He stays in the house. There is nothing he does. I feel so bad for him. He better even go back to Cameroon. Imagine he doesn't speak English. He doesn't go out. He's always in, he's very bored. But this guy cannot even let him do even casual uh, too much. So when Mawa met my cousin, my cousin was fresh out of the boat. My cousin, we used to live in the village. And after, you know, processing his paperwork, I was able to bring him in the United States. So ever since he arrived, you know, he had to get his stuff together, learn the language, educate himself and take the required test in order for him to pursue the career that he was looking for. So as a former Marine, I really believe in discipline. <laughs> and I believe in work before play. The opportunity that my cousin had by being in the United States is not something that I wanted him to take for granted. To be a guest in your house and that goes on the internet and talk about internal things that are actually just quite false. Yes, I didn't take my cousin partying every weekend. Should I? No. I did not want to get my cousin into a life of partying and women when he's not even able to make an income yet. On the ride back from New York, guys, Mawa actually suggested that I take my cousin to Colombia. Now think about this for a second. Somebody who's fresh out of Africa. So my cousin has been having a great time. He's traveled with me. We've gone to different things. He went to New York every time I went to see Mawa. I took him to various events. <laughs> out to nightclubs you know because I believe in the balance but I also believe in focusing you know Mawa has a lot of issues with his own family I don't know why and who gives him the right or why he thinks he gets to talk about my own you know what does he get to tell me how to handle my cousin you know the, the guts the nerve that someone has to be a guest in your house and that goes on the internet and talk about what do you think about that guys because uh, of course you saw ivan could uh, would take this guy on the pub on uh, entertainment joints and you could see that he was having fun he was really having fun which you would not uh, expect from someone who uh, who is being uh, caged you know who is so scared of the host who is ivan in this case you would not expect that person to be that free. As you saw, he was really having fun. Fun, fun. And Ivan was there, honestly. Because I'd imagine that uh, maybe that was the only time that he took him out. But for you to see that person so happy, so free, to do whatever he could, it says a lot that he's not scared of Ivan or anything. You get what I'm... You understand what I'm saying? Like, uh, if... Marwa was uh, telling the truth that this person is being mistreated, is not being given permission to, be, to do this and that. You'd expect that uh, this person will not be free in public, in the presence of Ivan. But you can just see, he's crazy. <laughs> he's uh, so free, enjoying himself. So personally, I think, I think it was just Marwa coming out here to make content out of anything. I think it was just Marwa out here being creative, coming out here and thinking. Who have I ever encountered? This one. Let me talk this about. He's, he doesn't even think like, let me talk about this. Let me say this about this person. No. He flows with the vibe. He just comes out here and talks anything that comes to his mind. Which is so sad, honestly. But I'm very sure that after this, I think he'll be very careful on what he mentions. Because he has messed with the wrong people. Hey, people, are still, people are not having it anymore. I think it's only the sheep. Which, uh, if you watched Ivan's video, you'll understand. If you didn't watch, maybe you want to go and watch it. Because, of course, as I always say, I pick two or three things on a video that I watch and we talk about it. Of course, if you find it interesting, you go and check it out. 
So, which is something that uh, which is something that Ivan mentioned. A lot of people out here they come out here and uh, pretend to be Marwa's friend, but in reality they are not. They are just there to benefit. You know those village guides, especially the ones who are being supported hmm, to solicit funds from donors to construct houses. Those people are so loyal to Senso, but if you look at it, they have to. They are forced to because uh, you just make a slight mistake. A slight mistake. That will be it for you. It will be it. <laughs> the subscribers will, will be gone. The support will be gone. And the donors might be contacted. Stop donating to these people. And of course they know it's better. And that is why they do anything and everything to defend their friendship. And I don't... <laughs> I don't blame them to some point. But the only person that I... I don't really agree with everything that he does is Mayugno. Because every time that Marwa comes out here to s talk shit about people, to talk, to mention some lies about people, you always reference my Yugno. Ask my Yugno, Baba Anne did this and this. And of course you'll notice that uh, along these pretending to be friends, or you could be friends, comes these bad gossips. And I think that is the role of my Yugno. <laughs> I think that is his role when Marwa is not around. He's all over the village getting the rumors. And then informing Marwa, and Marwa doesn't have any breaks. Anytime that he comes on a live, and if you want the tea, just attend Marwa's live. He always loses it. <laughs> He's infected with uh, just coming out here and dragging people, which is something that uh, I think he can't help himself from. So, of course, we can conclude that uh, it was pure lies. The cousin, if we go by Ivan's words, the cousin is doing well. Ivan just wanted to Ivan just wanted for, to make the cousin, you know, to create that environment that um, he can um, concentrate to learn the language because according to that, maybe I understood that he could not speak English and uh, so that he can uh, get into his uh, profession, you know, because I loved that about Ivan, you know, you just don't get into YouTube blindly as a career because uh, at some point, Marwa asked Ivan to buy a camera for this guy so that he can get into YouTube. But um, that was so wise of Ivan not to agree to Senso because Senso will support you today. Tomorrow you're back to the streets. <laughs> you don't trust Senso in anything, which we've always said. Don't. Ivan shared a point that, uh, that Marwa said is about being a passport bro. That respects herself. Wants to date a man who is constantly kissing other girls, sleeping with other girls on the internet from one country to the next. Mawa told you this about being a passport bro. When I asked him, Mawa, are you a passport bro? Check it out. Uh, is uh, I am Mawa a passport yeah. bro? Yeah, full time. He said full time. That's what he is. Now, it shouldn't come to a big surprise. You guys have been watching this man. You know what he does. He's single. He can do whatever he wants. But that comes at a cost. When you do meet a good woman who is interested in something serious, if this is the lifestyle that you choose to portray on the internet, so you get accolades and people say, damn, man. <laughs> Personally, I think that uh, Senso doesn't know the meaning of a passport, bro, because why would he say that? Or maybe he's just being honest. Maybe he's an honest person and he'll mention anything at any time to whoever person is asking the question which is, which can be a good thing being honest but sometimes you mention some things that people will just be looking at you like are you crazy full-time passport bro <laughs> crazy so that was just so funny so the last thing about this passport bro is that um, i even advised people to stop this thing of going to the villa asking for support from marwa to boost their channel the shout outs because as he said it's not worth it which i was just so happy watching because uh that is something that i've always said you can always watch as things unfold it's not worth it you will grow but uh, you'll always be working on eggshells because uh, when it's that time of the month marwa will come out here and call back <laughs> recall his subscribers which will not be nice because you might have resigned from your work in uh, the youtube career is falling apart so i really agreed with that but of course something that i also agreed with him is that uh, he mentioned that uh, not everyone is a bad person that uh, not everyone is that person that you're like no let me grow organically no there are good people out here 
good people because personally to mention uh, someone like on trending she gave me a shout out which is so different because i remember even that time i was just doing my thing joined a live just watching and uh, engaging in the comment section and that and then i had that uh, <laughs> mentioned my channel and uh, told people go and subscribe to neo trends and i was like what that is the kind of people ivan was mentioning if you get a genuine person a nice person who is just vibing with you you know who just decided from the bottom of the of their hearts to support you that is well and good that applies to niger daughter she mentioned my channel there was a time i was just watching one of her live which is something that i do i always make sure to watch on trending niger daughter because of course you know on trending she's that girl she knows what she's doing so i'm mentioning this because uh, i'm not coming out here to say that oh don't get uh, someone to give you a shout out or to boost your channel no i'm just saying that um senso is not that kind of a person that you want to depend on hmm? let me go get the shout out to build the channel it is not worth it unless you want to sell your loyalty your silence because you have to to be silent you come out here and rant <laughs> mention something that he doesn't like he doesn't agree with that would be the end of you it's like a cult you sell your soul <laughs> so i had to mention that so don't get me wrong there are some good people pebbles hall she's always in the comment section a vibe i love her you know even even um, even carol once gave me a shout out without even approaching you know nice people and that is why when i always hear people coming out here to say reactors are evil this and that i'm like you're just a part of <laughs> you're just a member of these marwa cults where you just believe anything and everything that he mentions when someone comes out here with a contrary opinion or a, just to say the truth criticize you feel like you're being attacked which is not the case these people out here you see they are so nice people you know so that is what I wanted to say because I noticed that I always mentioned that it's not worth it. It's not worth it with Senso, but not with everyone. So I also agree with that uh, message with the Ivan, which I always mentioned that uh, going to the villa, you spend your money, buying the goats, the sheep, the everything. After some time, it can also happen that he'll not come out here and recall his subscribers. But this is what we love. And of course, I'll interact with you as we always do. So thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much. For watching to this point of course especially if you watch to this point and you've not subscribed and you have not subscribed kindly consider subscribing like the video turn the notification bell on of course so that you can be notified every time i upload a video and most importantly share your thoughts in the comment section let me know what you think just feel free and of course for my people for my people for my people for my people thank you so much I love you like so, so, so much. I love you like so much. And I really do because as I mentioned, <laughs> it's not hard. It's not easy. This journey, it's not easy. And it was so hard for me to get you guys, you know. <laughs> it's so hard. It's not easy. And of course to get loyal, loyal but, uh, but logical because <laughs> this is something that I've always mentioned. My people will come out here and drag me on the floor, but of course respectfully, but full of love at the same time. I love you for that, honestly, because I always say, just tell me the truth. If it's something so bad, you can always write me an email. So, I just love you for that. You're the best. I could not ask for a better audience. Thank you so much. So, that was it for now. That was it for this video. That was it for today. Until the next one, peace. Bye.